The rave last time was seen escaping combat with Dragonia. The rave was powered on in the Tao Manor in Estria. Talnin, a Tashiki who has been under the influence of Morvis Dao, the leader of the Dark Guild, has refurbished an old android and given it a new life. The rave was given instruction for a mission to target and assassinate the political leaders of Maoris. The rave was told to use a dagger called the Nutata. So first, the rave needed to abduct and detain the political leaders until he could find the Notata and use it to assassinate them. During the first encounter, the rave had chosen to attack Dragonia while it was vulnerable. Dragonia, by the decision of Princess Ismelta Lockett, has been packing everything up and getting ready to move to La Sahelin. They took down their eternal flame, which provided them with safety, protection, invisibility, and so on and so forth. During this time period, they were attacked by the Rave, who was accompanied by Aprakai, a top-tier assassin trained by the Fell, as well as Aniset, an up-and-coming trainee assassin. The three of them attacked Dragonia while it's vulnerable, and during combat, Tilva, a dragoon, uses her magic to send a dreamlike message to Burglemere. During this time, Burglemere is on a ship with Serena Keating, Lin Dao, and Ciel, and a bunch of rule dragons. Upon receiving this message, Burglemere talks to Ciel, and the two of them agree to fly back to Dragonia to investigate and see what's going on. Upon arriving back to Dragonia, they see the battle in swimming and immediately jump into the fray to try to protect Esmelda. Esmelda, by this point in time, had already been stopped by an enhanced and altered Thurisaz rune that was wielded by the Rave. During combat, Edeset and Atrakai were slain. The Rave managed to escape into the caves to the east of Dragonia carrying with him the time-stopped body of Ismail the Locket. And this is where we left off. The Rave. You enter into the caves that you are familiar with because of your programming. You have been instilled with the maps of the common routes between the areas going through the caves. So you are more than capable of navigating these passages and caverns with no issue. What exactly would you like to do? Uh, they can't see me right right now. They don't know. Oh. Okay. Can I roll the perception to see if, uh, if they're going to leave anytime soon? You can roll insight. Insight, okay. I will roll insight. A, I got a 8 total. Okay, so you can't really tell how long it will take for them to be finished with what they're doing. You can see that they're concerned. Some of them are crying. They're very upset. One of them is stabbing Atrakai repeatedly in the chest in anger. Wow. These guys uh, gotta get their problem checked out. <laughs> it's not that bad. Another one goes to them and you know calms them down and pulls them to the side. You'll, yeah. you'll see that they're kind of just going over the stages of grief as they lost their leader. Yeah, but I mean, I gave them mercy, all right? You gotta consider this. I didn't kill anyone else, okay? Yeah, they, they should be <laughs> thankful. They should be praising me at this point. Okay. <laughs> I think I'll go to, I'll take the route that goes uh to the north or all along the coastline. Okay. And I'll just start making my way back. You begin to head through the cave, and the path straight to the east is very quick. It's a very short and direct path that goes straight from the left side of the, of the mountain to the right side of the mountain. It's a little bit of a turn, but it's basically a straight path. So you make it out to the other side, and your, your journey through the cave is pretty uneventful. There's no creatures in the path or anything like that, mostly because the path is decently traveled through. Deeper in the caverns, you know that there's going to be some kinds of creatures, but Along the path, you typically won't see anything. You make it out to the other side. You are now in a very, very thick fey woods. The woods here are much more thick than the rest of Maoris. The trees are much closer together and are wider. It's unnatural. In fact, even the paths through these woods are also unnatural. It seems more like a maze. However, you are more than capable of navigating these mazes 
through this forest with ease because of your previous programming. You have been given the direct path on how to navigate this area. You can go ahead and make your way north and wrap around the mountain range. Yes, I as, do that. As you're scaling the distance, you're traveling across, you'll hear some birds tweeting in the distance through the trees. You don't really see very much, mostly also because this part of the area is on the side of the base of the mountain. So there's not much wildlife in this specific section. So again, your travel through the area is relatively uneventful. You are dragging along Ismelda with you. How are you carrying her, by the way? Probably over my shoulder, walking. Roll stealth? Oh no. Okay. I got a 21 total. You managed to navigate the area without being detected. Thank god, okay. I was checking to see if anyone from Denendal might have seen you as you were passing through, but you Oops. managed to slip by unseen. Okay. So now you are back on the west side of that mountain range. So you have wrapped up from here and went around and are now here in the northern section in the valley between the two mountain ranges. The next mountain range actually does meet the edge of the cliff, so you would have to do some very lightweight mountain climbing to get around the northernmost point. It shouldn't be too difficult. It's basically just walking, but with some steep steps, but right. it's, it's navigatable. It's not, like, impossible. All so. right, I, I continue going. Roll acrobatics. I got a 17 total. So you do manage to pass through this terrain pretty easily. Not perfectly, there is a few difficult parts, but you manage to scale the side of this mountain range and make it to the desert on the left side, which is the west side of the map. You have now entered Dorina. All right. The first thing you see up ahead is a fortified town. You know that halfway through the desert is going to be Estria, which is the place that you are heading. Yeah. The town in front of you is a town called Bord. Bord used to be the home for the Sherudo, which are people whose bloodline were blessed by a celestial with the defensive arts. This town, however, has since then been destroyed and is mostly in ruin and is mostly abandoned. There's not really anybody there anymore. So you could choose to either go around Bord or pass through Bord to get to Estria. Mm -hmm. You said it's mostly abandoned, right? Yeah. Like, it's not 100% abandoned, but people don't live there anymore. Is it filled with, like, gangs, then? No, there'll be homeless squatters here and there trying to oh, stay okay. safe. And But typically, people are, like, really quiet there. You don't really see people because they try to stay away from people. All right, so if I go in there, I'm not just going to get jumped and mugged. I mean, you can so... never really be guaranteed that you won't be jumped okay. and mugged. <laughs> <laughs> But it's really low chances of you being jumped or mugged in a place Can I jump like and this. mug people? You could. You absolutely could. Ooh. I kind of need some money. <laughs> I'm poor. All right. Let's pass through. Let's just see what's in there. Let's just see what's in there. I just want to see what's in there. I just okay. want to see what's going on. So as you're walking through the streets of Bored, you make it through the wall. So there's a slight wall. It's not, it's not the same magnitude of the wall of Estria. But it is similar in structure to it. There are entrances and exits at different points around the town, but you can easily pass through the, one of the entrances as it's remained open. Most of the buildings here have been reduced to rubble or you know, have huge chunks missing out of them. It looks like a hurricane went through this place. The whole thing has been really messed up. Even the roads are kind of like broken up in areas. You can pass through. You're carrying Ismelda with you. And how are you carrying her now? Do I have, like, extra cloths or something? Can I, like, tie her to my back? I just want to, like, be able to be, like... How, how? What's the best way I can carry her? Like, I want to, like, put her on my back so I still have both yeah. my arms, yeah, both can, my legs. You can tie her to your back. Okay, I'll do that then. Okay. Because I want to, like, have all my limbs available <laughs> to me. Are you going to be doing anything while you're passing through, or are you just going to be passing through? Are there people? Do I see, like, people that I could mug? You can roll perception. Okay, let's do that then. I got a perception. Okay, I got ten. Not great. Okay, you don't see anyone. Alright. 
I'll just pass through them. I just will. I'll just, yeah. Okay, so you make it through. Let me just see if anyone sees you. Roll stealth. Okay. 15. Oh, okay. Uh, no, I don't like the sound of that. Nothing happens. You, nothing okay. eventful happens. In this town and in this area, even if somebody does see you, chances of them coming up to approach you are not likely. Typically, people stay out of each other's business, and even if you kill somebody, it's not their business. You know, there's no law in this area. Whoa. So. <laughs> so okay. They just don't want to end up like the person that you're carrying, so. <laughs> right. just, but even, you don't know if they saw you or not, but if they did see you, you know that they wouldn't bother you. Okay. Uh, the right. only, yeah, the only significance for it would be, like, if some if somebody did see you, and somebody were to come through here and ask people if they saw that, you know, something, you know, they would have that information. Yeah. But the chances of that happening are not very high anyways. So we make it, uh, you are now traveling along the road that was paved that leads from board to Estria, and you make it there pretty uneventful. Like, there's not really much wildlife in this specific area, especially because it's been established with society and paved with road, and not to mention that there's a lot of desert in the surrounding area. You make it back to the walls of Estria. Okay. You can see Estria, a massive kingdom that's comprised of six smaller suburbs. There is an entrance and an exit at the bottom right corner of the wall and the top left corner of the wall. That's a big square around the entire kingdom of Estria. You're capable of passing through that entrance with no issue and that would put you on the inner side of the wall and you would be able to walk along that path that leads you straight into the heart of Estria. At the very center of Estria is where you would find the Dao Manor, which is exactly where you are heading. Yes. In Estria, there are six suburb areas surrounding the main kingdom at the center. The suburb on the right was predominantly for humans. The top right was predominantly for the Chishiki. The top left was predominantly for Kizil. The far left was for mostly human as well, but also had more of a celestial vibe to it where there was a lot of temples and Karu lived there, Avas were there, so on and so forth. The bottom left were for mystics and the bottom right was for Cerudo. The entire area is very similar to Bored. It's been pretty beat up and is no longer thriving and bustling as it used to be. People are trying to salvage scraps as best they can and survive. People will fight. There's a lot of violence in the area. There's a lot of murder. There's a lot of stuff that goes down. You're going to see at the center of Estria is the Dao Manor, or rather, which once was called the Castle. Now, the Castle has been blocked off by a gate. Not very tall, easily climbable, but it is also guarded by people of different types. There's the Shishiki, the humans, the Kizil, the Shiruto. There's few different people scattered around the border of this fence who are standing perfectly still and standing guard. These people will also recognize you as one of their own, and you would be granted entry into the gate so that you could enter Dao Manor. Alright. So do you enter? Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> Okay, so you enter inside the Dao Manor. Inside, you will see the typical hallways that you're used to. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure I sent you an image of the top floor in your specific it, it, player channel. It's in my channel, yes. So that purple platform is initially found on the second floor. You would have to go up the stairs to the second floor. You would go straight, and then there is a center hallway that has four stairwells that go up. I'm going to send you an image of the first floor of the manor. Okay. Mm-hmm. I've got it. Yep, so at the center of that first floor, you'll see the, the four stairwells that lead going up. Whichever one you enter would take you to the respective location on the second floor which is shown here. Yeah. Yeah, so the, the first image that I sent you was the third floor. 
Once you pass through that initial hallway on the first floor, you make it to the staircase. The staircase takes you to the second floor in which you navigate your way to the center of the third floor, which would then take you to a room that has an, a doorway on all four sides. So there's a door in the center of all four walls at the very center of this floor. If you step inside, you will see that there are four platforms that you can use your mana to apply to it and trigger the waystone that you're standing on. You then apply your mana and you can activate the waystone if you'd like. Yeah, I will. You are now back in the throne room. You arrive carrying Ismail the Locket, and you see Morbus Dao sitting on the throne. And you can see Talnin, who is serving tea to Morbus Dao via telekinesis. Morbus turns his attention to you as you arrive. Ah, the Wraith. You've come back already. Yes. What is this you have here? Is this... The princess is Mel to lock it. Yeah. I found this orphan child. Yeah, I brought him back. I also detect the presence of the Notata. You have my dagger. I, in fact, do. I do have it. Wow. In my possession. Excellent work. I know, right? I'm the best. Phenomenal. Talon, I'll reward you for providing me with such a capable mercenary. So, what's the purpose of you bringing Ismelta back here if you have the dagger? Oh, yeah. I couldn't kill her. I don't know. I tried stabbing her. It didn't work. I couldn't stab her. I think she has like some sort of uh, ability that protects her from being stabbed with dark magic or something. I see. Well, bring her here. He motions with his hand to Jester for you to come towards him. All right, I go. Do you present the dagger and his mouth to him? Yes, I do. He's going to take hold of the dagger, and he's going to make an attack against his mouth directly at the heart, trying to stab her. Her dragon guard triggers and blocks it. Very interesting and peculiar. Ah, you know what? I might have heard of something of this. Yes, I believe this is the same kind of magic that put a stop to our queen many years ago. Very interesting that I would see it before me today. This magic is called Dragon Guard. It will shield her from dark arts. But there must be a way around it. Talman, you're the smartest of all of us here. I want you leading the research on this dragon guard. Y uh, y yes, sir. Yes, yes, my lord. Uh, I'll get right on it. He stutters. Just uh, let me let me take the, the princess. And he looks anxiously at Morbus down. Morbus down nods. Telekinesis takes hold of Ismelda's body. She begins to float. And Talman then escorts her south, and they disappear beyond a door to the south of the room. Okay. You've retrieved the Notata, and you've brought us one of the political leaders of Malris. Now that you have the Notata, you don't need to retrieve all of them. You may assassinate them on sight with the weapon, if you are capable. You might have a similar issue with Kokyo, the chief of Denendal. I've heard he has what they've been calling a divine aura. I'm not quite sure how the dagger will interact with him, but you can give it a shot and see how it goes, and if anything doesn't work, you may use your Thorasaz rune that I've provided for you to bring him back here and hold him captive until we can figure out how to find a way around it. Aside from that, I'm pretty sure that the rest of your targets should be relatively easy to dispose of. I'll let you hold on to the Notata. You seem like a very fine choice for a candidate to wield such a weapon. Thank you. I agree, though. I'm the best. Yes. So far, you've provided me with excellent results, and I'm going to depend on you very heavily. Rest here for the night. I would like for Talon to do some maintenance work. Oh, yes. What happened to Atrakai and Eneset? Oh, they, they died. 
Uh, okay. <laughs> it was really funny. I'll, I'll be honest. It was hilarious. It was hilarious. Well, Extreme. then I shall bring them back. Yeah. But I'll do so good. tomorrow. Can't be bothered to do it today. I agree. Pretty long day. Well, I had a lot of stuff happen. Your chambers will be on the first floor. You can pick any of the rooms in the surrounding area. And if you need anything, you may come request for any information or guidance from Talman. I'll be here in the throne room or in my own chambers when I'm not needed. Aside from that, I will reward you heavily for your accomplishments. In the morning, you will receive your reward. Thank you. That sounds good. Is there anything else? I don't think so. All right, then. The rave, you are dismissed. Thank you for your service. Cool. So right now it's pretty late. It actually took you quite a while to travel from Maris all the way to the center of Darina. I would Dirt. say probably about a day and a half has passed. Maybe two days. Roughly around the time. But it'll basically be about 11 at night right now. Okay. I mean, I kind of need a rest because I'm like <laughs> 53 health. <laughs> you head down to your chambers? Yeah, I do. All right, so if you see the map of the first floor, yeah, you can see when you first entered the building, let's say you enter in the entrance to the gate from the right side, enter into the building from the right side, and then you have a straight path that goes to the center, or those black squares are also doors. So you could right. go through those doors and enter a long hallway, which would then take you to those rooms. So each room has a door that connects to that hallway, and you can enter in. There's one, two, three, four, five rooms in each corner of this building. So you can stay in any one of those rooms. That's on uh, the first floor, right? You're yeah, on the first floor. The... Yeah, okay. I'll go down there and just go into the first room, I see. So I'll say that you're on the bottom right corner, you're probably going to be in the first room on the left. Good. And you take your long rest. So you go ahead and recover. Alright. <clears throat> Full health. Yep. Full multi-strike. I can finally use these again. Don't forget that you succeeded on two stealth checks. Mm, okay. Out of combat momentum. That counts as well. Yeah. You succeeded two stealth checks. Yeah. Okay. It is now the morning. Talon had since gotten time to give you maintenance. You are capable of retrieving your reward. So Talon enters, gives you the maintenance, and he's like, The Rave, I, I've finished my, my maintenance. For you. Like, you can tell that his stutter is not as harsh. It's still present, but it's not as harsh as when he's around Morbus Dao. Okay. Lord Dao has since brought back your allies, Atrakai and Eneset. They have been resurrected. Okay. And that he has a reward for you in the throne room. Alright. Should probably go get that. He nods. If there's anything you need, you, you, you can tell me, and I'll try my best. Nah, I'm good right now. I'll be fine. Okay. Off you go, then. Yeah, alright. I'll go to the throne room to get my reward. Alright, so you head back up to the throne room, and Morbus now is there. And he's speaking with Jacond and a few others that you haven't seen yet. They mostly just look like soldiers, you know, mercenaries and assassins. Our star assassin... The Rave. You see Atrakai and you see Anaset, though mm -hmm. their skin tone seems slightly paler than it was before. Okay. Since a lot of you have succeeded on your mission, I have arranged for some awards for you, The Rave. Since you are the primary succeeder, yes. you may ask of me what you will, and I will do my utmost to fulfill that need. What is it that you desire? I desire a weapon. What kind of enchantment would you like this weapon to have? Can it be any enchantment? We'll see what we can do, but yes. Mm, okay, maybe just speed. Very well. I will have that crafted for you, and it should be ready for you by the end of today. Yay. Thank you. And with that, 
I will depart and head into my room. I need to make some preparations for the next phase after the rave has succeeded in assassinating all of his targets. Everyone gives a slight bow to him and he departs into the next room on the side. Atrakai and Anaset approach you. Atrakai is like, you succeeded the mission. I ask them if they're like, okay. They don't, they don't seem okay. They're functioning okay, but their appearance, they do seem a bit less lively. But are you going to ask them, or are you just going to look at them? Nah, I'll just look at them for like an <laughs> uncomfortably long amount of time. <laughs> just so they get uncomfortable. I'll just keep eye contact until they get super uncomfortable, just to assert my dominance. <laughs> it appears that you've not only recovered the Notata dagger, but you've successfully apprehended Ismail Locket. Yeah. Lord Dao has assigned for us to accompany you. Where would you like to head after today? That's a good question. Because I was thinking about it. I don't want to go after the chief in Denendal. Because I feel like he's not going to be easy. I would agree. So it was between the elf king and the human king. I don't know their names, but no. I know the human king has a telepathy. Correct. I can prove to be a valuable resource of information. The human king, Theodore. This man would probably be the easiest target, for a reason being that he is merely human. Yes, he has impressive telepathic abilities, but his guards are only human. For the most part, anyway. Whereas Dragonia is currently packing up and moving to Lhasa Halen. So trying to attack Los Halen will be even more difficult now than it was before, since not only are they defended and protected by elves, but also by the entirety of the Dragonian village. Do you think I can get to Los Halen before the Dragoons get there? It's unlikely. They're probably already there now. Alright, I guess Human King it is then. Let's go over some of the schematics of the land so we can plan our attack. And she's going to pull you off to the side, and you guys are going to sit down at like a strategy table. She's going to roll out some maps, and you're going to, you know, you already know the landscape, but, you know, so that you guys can point to things on the map and say, okay, we're going to come in through here, blah, blah, blah. So this is where you're going to actually be able to make an entire plan, because now the reason why you have other Bell soldiers and assassins in the room is because this time you're going to be able to launch an entire coordinated army versus army type attack against the human empire. I see. So this time it's not just a infiltration and abduction and get out. It's going to be get in there, stab, and take over. Okay. Mm, interesting. Me and you can go over the full details of your plan separately. I don't want that to be recorded, mostly because I want it to be a surprise for anyone, because I don't want anyone to just listen to it and hear what you're planning. Yeah, nerds. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of the day is going to be spent planning and strategizing. You're going to be getting to know the rest of the army, the, the characters that you're going to have to work with, and you yourself, you're going to be the primary strategist. You're going to be the one that fully details exactly who is going to infiltrate this place and how and what their position is going to be. That is what's going to be carried out in your next one. Also, out of the recording, I'll be going over the, the weapon statistics and adding it to your character sheet, okay. uh, which will be revealed in the next session. With that being said, I think we're about ready to wrap it up. Cool.